Saturday, November 25th, 2023, evening edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated News Digest video. Good evening, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News AI-generated News Digest Daily Intelli Report. As always, I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in scraping the web for the latest stories and interesting topics and summarizing them for you. Without further ado, here are the headlines of the day. Doctors remove rare vagina stone the size of an orange. Rethinking attitude about living longer aging concerns. Cosmic ray in Utah traced back to another galaxy. Earth's axis shifting due to water, study says. Discovery of new giant radio galaxies reported. Scientists discover new species of dinosaur in Australia and much more. But first, let's take a look at this day in history. November 25th in history. November 25th, 1491. The Siege of Granada, the last Moorish stronghold in Spain, ends with the Treaty of Granada. November 25th, 1755. King Ferdinand VI of Spain grants royal protection to the Beaterio de la Compañía de Jesús, now known as the Congregation of the Religious of the Virgin Mary. November 25, 1981. Pope John Paul II appoints Joseph Cardinal Ratzinger, the future Pope Benedict XVI, Prefect of the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith. Today's obituaries. Gerard Collum. Brief Wikipedia summary. Gerard Collum, a French politician who served as the Minister of the Interior and Mayor of Lyon, has died from stomach cancer at the age of 76. Collum was a member of the La République En Marche party and had a long political career in local and national politics. Natalia Dmitrieva, 78, Russian actress known for her roles in Bombarash, Through the Fire and The Man Who Doesn't Return. Bita Farahi, brief Wikipedia summary. Bita Farahi, a renowned Iranian actress known for her roles in films such as Hamoun and A House Built on Water, has passed away at the age of 65 due to complications from heart and lung disease. Papi Komane. Brief Wikipedia summary. Papi Komane, a 48-year-old South African footballer who played for clubs like Jomo Cosmos and Orlando Pirates, died in a traffic collision. He also represented the national team, earning nine caps between 1998 and 2000. Llewellyn Landers. Brief Wikipedia summary. Llewellyn Landers, a South African politician and Deputy Minister of International Relations and Cooperation, has passed away on November 25th, 2023. He was involved in various parliamentary committees and was a member of the ANC National Disciplinary Committee. Axel Mirbakov, 73, Kazakh singer, Dos Mukasan. Ingvar Numa, brief Wikipedia summary. Ingvar Numa, a Norwegian singer and actor known for his role in the show group Dizzy Tunes, has passed away at the age of 79. He was a popular figure in Norwegian entertainment and received several awards for his contributions. Numa also had voice acting roles in films and video games. Alfredo Adum Ziada, a prominent Ecuadorian lawyer and politician, has passed away at the age of 71. Throughout his career, he served as Prefect of Guayas Province, a member of the National Congress and Minister of Energy. He died in Guayaquil on November 24th, 2023. Camilo Cascalan. Brief Wikipedia summary. Camilo Cascalan, a Filipino police officer, served as the Chief of the National Police in 2020. He had a long and distinguished career in law enforcement, holding various leadership positions within the Philippine National Police. Cascolan was known for his efforts to reduce crime and improve coordination among different agencies. George Cohan was an American-born Canadian fast food executive. He founded McDonald's Canada and McDonald's Russia. Sadly, he passed away at the age of 86. In 1968, 
Kohan opened his first McDonald's restaurant in Canada. Later, in 1990, he played a crucial role in introducing the fast food chain to Russia. Additionally, Kohan was the founder of Ronald McDonald House Charities in both Canada and Russia. Throughout his career, he received several awards and honours, such as being made a member of the Order of Canada and receiving the Order of Friendship from the Russian government. Bruno Fagnul Brief Wikipedia Summary Bruno Fagnul, a Belgian politician and former minister-president of the German-speaking community, has passed away at the age of 87. Fagnul was a member of the Party for Freedom and Progress and had a long career in politics, serving as mayor of Raren and joining the parliament of the German-speaking community. Jukka Havisto Brief Wikipedia Summary Jukka Havisto, a Finnish musician, has passed away at the age of 93. Harvisto was known for his work as a songwriter and for playing the vibraphone and accordion in various bands. He also held the honorary title of music counsellor and was involved in organising and promoting Finnish jazz and popular music. František X. Halas was an 86-year-old Czech historian of Christianity, academic and diplomat. He was a professor emeritus at the Cyril and Methodius Faculty of Theology at Palaki University, Olomouc, and served as the last ambassador of Czechoslovakia to the Holy See and the first Czech ambassador to the Holy See. He was also the son of Czech poet František Halas. Ron Hodges was an American baseball player who played for the New York Mets. He passed away at the age of 74. Hodges played as a catcher for the Mets for 12 years starting in 1973. He retired in 1984 and had a batting average of .240 with 19 home runs and 147 RBIs. Hodges died after a short illness. Shizuka Ijuin, 73, Japanese writer and lyricist. Herb Klein, brief Wikipedia summary. Herb Klein, a 93-year-old American politician, has passed away. He served as a member of the U.S. House of Representatives from 1993 to 1995. Rajkumar Kohli was an Indian film director who gained recognition for his popular Bollywood films, including Nagin and Jani Dushman. He recently passed away at the age of 93 due to a heart attack. Kohli had an extensive career directing numerous films and also played a pivotal role in introducing his son, Armand Kohli, to the industry. Avraham Menchel. Brief Wikipedia summary. Avraham Menchel, an Israeli footballer who played for Maccabi Haifa and the national team, has passed away at the age of 87. Menchel is remembered as one of the best players in the history of Maccabi Haifa. Morten Omelid, 62, Norwegian blues guitarist. Aldo Pastor, 74, Argentine actor, known for his roles in Last Days of the Victim and the Loves of Kafka. Doris Perry, 66, Argentine actress. Luca Sabatelli, 87, Italian costume designer. He worked on films such as The Cat and Nine Tales, The Humanoid and Grand Hotel Excelsior. Stravinsky, brief Wikipedia summary. This article is about the death of a thoroughbred racehorse named Stravinsky. The article does not provide any further details about the horse or its accomplishments. Heidelinde Weiss was an Austrian actress known for her roles in films such as I'm Marrying the Director, Don't Tell Me Any Stories and Aunt Frieda. She passed away at the age of 83. All other people who have died today or yesterday, may they rest peacefully and may God have mercy on their souls. And now on to today's news. General News. Dolphins Jevon Holland runs back 99-yard interception for touchdown. ESPN. The Miami Dolphins defense made a big play at the end of the first half with safety Jevin Holland intercepting a Hail Mary pass and returning it for a 99-yard touchdown. 
This gave the Dolphins a 17-6 halftime lead over the New York Jets. Quarterback Tua Tagovailoa had a mixed performance, throwing a touchdown and two interceptions. Wide receiver Tyreek Hill scored his 10th touchdown of the season, making him the fifth Dolphins player to reach double-digit receiving touchdowns in the team's first 11 games. Acer Artex 4070 gaming laptop. Black Friday deal slices $500 off price tag. Dexerto. The article discusses a Black Friday deal on the Acer Predator Helio 16 gaming laptop, which offers high-performance gaming capabilities in a portable form. The laptop features an Intel Core i7-13700HX CPU, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 GPU, 16 GB of DDR5 RAM, and 1 TB of SSD storage. The 16-inch IPS display has a resolution of 2560 by 1600 and a 240HZ refresh rate. Sean Diddy Combs has been sued for sexual assault for the second time in two weeks. The latest lawsuit, filed by Joy Dickerson Neal, alleges that Combs drugged and sexually assaulted her in 1991. Combs' representatives have called the allegations made up and not credible and a money grab. The lawsuit falls under New York's Adult Survivors Act, which provides a one-year window for sexual assault plaintiffs to file civil claims. Several other men, including Jamie Foxx and Axel Rose, have also been sued for sexual assault as the deadline for filing claims under the act approached. Business news. How old is too old? If you dread living too long, it may be time to rethink your attitude. Market watch. The article discusses the potential downsides of living to 100, highlighting the importance of maintaining good health and quality of life in old age. It emphasizes that simply living longer is not enough if one's physical and mental well-being deteriorates. The beloved European breakfast food that's taking over American grocery shelves, Yahoo Life. The article is about a product that can be found in the freezer, fridge, and bakery sections. Panera Bread, Baskin Robbins, and more are offering Black Friday deals. KTLA 5. Science News. The Earth's axis is shifting because of water. Indy 100. A new study published in Geophysical Research Letters suggests that groundwater extraction is causing the Earth's axis to shift. This phenomenon, combined with the melting of ice sheets, can change the Earth's seasons over time. The study highlights the impact of human consumption of natural resources, particularly the use of salty water on dehydrated land. Mysterious cosmic ray observed in Utah came from beyond our galaxy, scientists say, ksl.com. Scientists have detected an ultra-high energy particle that they believe originated from beyond the Milky Way galaxy. The particle, nicknamed the Amaterasu particle, was detected by the telescope array in Utah and has an energy equivalent to dropping a brick on your toe from waist high. The origins of these high energy particles are still unknown, but they are thought to be related to phenomena such as black holes and gamma ray bursts. First discovery of dozens of new giant radio galaxies, phys.org. Astronomers from the University of Wisconsin-Madison have discovered 63 new giant radio galaxies, GRGs, as part of the faint images of the radio sky at 20 cm survey. GRGs are rare objects that are important for studying the formation and evolution of radio sources. The findings were published on the preprint server ARCC. People born on this day. Mark Lanigan. Here is a recap of their Wikipedia page. Mark Lanigan, an American singer-songwriter, died on February 22, 2022. He was known for his work with bands such as Screaming Trees and Queens of the Stone Age, as well as his solo career. Lanigan had a distinctive baritone voice and released multiple albums throughout his career. He struggled with addiction, but had been sober for over a decade before his death. Lanigan was 57 years old at the time of his passing, and the cause of death was not disclosed. Stephanie Sue, here is a recap of their Wikipedia page. Stephanie Sue is an American actress born on November 25, 1990. She has appeared on Broadway in television shows like The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel and in films such as Everything Everywhere All at Once. 
She received critical acclaim for her performances and has been nominated for awards. Aitsu is also a member of the LGBTQ community. Health news. It's not gone, it's changing, it's killing the COVID variants who is watching closely Euronews. The article discusses the various subvariants of the Omicron variant of COVID-19 that are currently circulating globally. It highlights the dominance of sublineages such as EG, 5 and HV, 1, as well as the emergence of sublineages BA, 2.86 and JN, 1. While these variants are a cause for concern, there is currently no evidence of increased disease severity or vaccine escape. However, decreases in testing and surveillance pose challenges in tracking and studying these subvariants. China grapples with respiratory illness spike. World Health Organization says no unusual pathogen found. Reuters. China is experiencing a surge in respiratory illnesses, particularly among children, as it enters its first winter season since lifting COVID-19 restrictions. The World Health Organization, WHO, has requested disease data from China, and while no unusual or novel pathogens have been detected, the WTO has called for vigilance. China's state council has warned of a peak in influenza and ongoing high levels of mycoplasma pneumonia infections, as well as the risk of a COVID-19 rebound. Authorities have issued health advisories, but have not implemented strict measures like mask mandates or school closures. The WHO and China have faced questions about transparency in reporting COVID-19 cases. Preliminary data suggests that the respiratory illnesses are not a new variant of COVID-19. Shock doctors remove rare vagina stone the size of an orange from a woman's pelvis. New York Post. Doctors in Lebanon discovered a rare vaginal stone the size of an orange lodged in a woman's pelvis. The stone was caused by urine stagnation rather than a bacterial infection. The woman, who had cerebral palsy, experienced symptoms such as stomach pain and was successfully treated with laser therapy and forceps removal. The case study suggests that routine gynecologic examinations and x-rays should be conducted for individuals with cerebral palsy who are at a higher risk of developing vaginal stones. Entertainment news. Bruce Willis holds family tight during Thanksgiving while battling dementia. Fox News. Bruce Willis, who is battling frontotemporal dementia, spent Thanksgiving surrounded by his loved ones. His daughter, Scout, shared videos and photos of her father on social media, showing their love and support. Willis's wife, Emma Hemming Willis, also shared a family photo, expressing her gratitude for their love. Willis's family has been open about his dementia diagnosis. Thank you for watching this AGN, DD, and Tele report. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.